tell you what, I thought I had a cool office out there in the, on the couch outside with this guy, Kevin Naylor, at the top of the bay. Great spot to go to today. Finally feeling like summer, Kevin, right? You guys Finally feeling hopping. like summer. It's going to be, this uh -huh. weekend's going to be gorgeous. Here, here comes summer. Memorial Day is the kickoff to the kick off to the good times. I mean, oh, we always have a good time right. down there, but I hope it's, you're right. it's gorgeous. We'll Finally. be opening up the deck this weekend really? and live entertainment. Oh. It's, gonna, it's, it's place nice. To be. It right. is the place to be. Now, the place to be this morning is here in our kitchen because you have some uh, yellowfin tuna. What are you going to yeah, do with we're this? We're going to pinch in the tuna. Okay. I'm going to make a mango salsa. We have a mango, red pepper, jalapeno, um, cilantro, a little bit of lemon and lime juice. Um, jalapeno is optional. You know, it's kind of. I like a little kick to it. If, if you don't like a little kick, but in the next segment, I'll show you how to make it, and we'll, uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to serve it over a garden salad today. Nice start off to the summer, and it's it's going to be wonderful. Is this a, a a dish now that you've put on the menu for the summer? Or is this something you have year round? Well, we'll do a special, and more in the summertime, we'll do you know we try different fish specials. Right weekly so tuna tuna will be on the menu this weekend all right so come down and have our tuna check out kevin naylor's tuna top of the bay this weekend and we're going to try it this morning here on the road show you can find the recipe and ingredients online as always at foxprovidence.com well i think our, our chef kevin naylor from top of the bay is going to take a quick nap on that cardi's mattress <laughs> and then get cooking because he's literally going to be working for the next like four days it's memorial day weekend it's going to be a busy time at top very of the busy, bay very busy very yep. busy and one of the items that we're making today can be found on your menu right we're yes. making our tuna we'll this weekend. with a mango, mango salsa, salsa. Yeah. so how do we make the salsa first you start with the mango and picking mm -hmm. you can dump that right in there okay. and picking out mangoes at the supermarket you want to kind of have like a plum mm -hmm. feel to it some firmness you definitely don't want like an apple feel more right. like a more like a plum okay uh, red peppers Obviously, when you're picking on a pepper, you want it to be bright and vibrant. Yes, nice color. So we have some lemon juice and lime juice. Mm -hmm. Just a Those, little bit of each. Yeah. When you squeeze, uh, uh, a little tip for that is if you take the lemon or the lime, put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, and kind of roll it on the counter a little bit, it helps the juice come out. Oh, no kidding. I squeeze, didn't know that. Squeeze it very okay. easily. What else do we add, um, Kevin? First cilantro. Mm -hmm. And a little jalapeno. Ooh. Uh, when cutting the peppers at home, very, very, very important. Don't use gloves or make sure you wash your hands and not touch any part of your body afterwards. That's right. You know, someone want to rub their eye oh my or, gosh, yeah. you know, scratch your face. It'll, you'll be uh, wishing you didn't for the rest of the day. That was really easy. Is that it? That's that's it. Wow. And what you do is, um, I made some yesterday, so when you guys try it today, it'll have flavorful. But you want yep. it to you cover this up. Mm -hmm. to have it at least sit for at least 30 minutes. Uh, overnight is best as the, the juice from the, the citrus kind of breaks down the mango yeah. and kind of everything comes together. Perfect. All right. Well, it looks wonderful. It smells great, too. And we're getting our tuna going in just a minute. Now we'll send things back over to you. <laughs> All right. Chef Kevin Naylor from Top of the Bay is here this morning with us again on the road show. And he has some uh, yellowfin tuna that we're going to cook up. And then we have a little salad and some salsa. Yes. So fresh. Yeah. Yum. Yes. Ready for the summer season. Yeah. Well, what I've done is I've gotten the pan a little warm, so to make sure when you sear anything like we did the scallops or anything that we sear, you want to make sure you start with a hot pan. Okay. And uh, we're going to start with a little cracked black pepper, a mm -hmm. little salt. What did you put in the pan? Uh, just oil. Okay. Olive oil. And you didn't marinate this fish? It just No, it you just could marinate it if you wanted to marinate it. I prefer my tuna as, 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 as like tuna as it's caught. To go yeah. too, too crazy with it. Yeah. 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 Uh, when you add to the pan, because the pan is hot, you always want to put it in and yeah. go away from you. So right. that way, if, say you were to splash, it would always it's always going to splash away from you. I love how you um, give us the proper instructions. It's like a I, lesson I every time with you. I love it. Um, I got this at Stop and Shop. Yep. Um, these are kind of thick pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, some people don't like their tuna as, as cooked. Mm -hmm. Some people like their tuna less cooked, more cooked. Yeah. So what I did is you can just cut it in half. Okay. Kind of the same thing. So, uh, you know, if, when you're cooking for the family, if one person wanted a little more done or one person wanted a little less done, <clears throat> you can kind of cut it down What's the size. What's the advice on looking for a good, you know, piece of tuna? Brightness. Brightness, right. color. Brightness, yeah. Okay. Turn this around real quick, just so Rick can get a shot of it. Look at how look at how quickly you can see how half and half it's cooked. Yeah, see, that's I, almost done. Well, that's, you can yeah. see the bottom half is already a different right color there. than the top half. That's yep. amazing. Mm -hmm. How fast that got cooked. You definitely want brightness of color in the tuna. Yeah. Uh, if you see a tuna that's got like a brownish or Ugh. sometimes it almost has like a like a rainbow color to it what does as that it mean? looks it just means it it's pretty, it's, but no good. that it's been sitting okay. and it kind of gets oxidized and okay. it's okay. not what you want you really want bright vibrant color okay and, and choosing any fish you want bright colors you don't want anything to have a film on it or if it doesn't look good it, it probably isn't okay Ooh, look at that. So you can Let's do the eye that. test on fish so you just sure. want to give it a little slowly flip yep. you know people at home you don't want to flop it over and end up hurting yourself 
Now, tuna kind of seems like it's gone through like a craze. Like a lot of restaurants now serve it. People seem to really love it. Uh, I mean, are you a big fan of it yourself? I am or? a big fan yeah. of it. Um, yeah. I didn't. Put it with a lot of stuff, and it's easy to cook. It's yeah. very easy. It's healthy. Uh, you know, the salsa goes with it. Mm. We uh, we do sometimes at the restaurant. We'll have like a wasa wasabi ranch. Uh, we'll oh, take okay. some ranch dressing and just mix a little wasabi in it. Yeah. And we'll do that with it. Um, we also do a cucumber salsa, a uh, cucumber coleslaw that we do. Wow. I tried up some cucumber with some sesame, and yeah. that was what we did last weekend. Some sesame seed and oil and a little rice wine vinegar and let that marinate. I mean, it just, I, I have it's to very... I'm not an adventurous eater when it comes to fish. Like, I eat tuna in a can. Mm -hmm. I don't normally eat it. It tastes but diff totally different. Yeah, I, I can't, I have never tried it, to be honest with you, so I'm excited to try it. It's, a, so. it's very good. I'm, 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 He'll give me the more well done things. I am going to yes. make sure that this is perfectly cooked for you. Oh, great. So you don't even have to make a phony face on television. I, well, I <laughs> never like, do. You're like, well, I know with my cooking, but I mean. <laughs> We're never with you, Kevin, no. <laughs> All right, and you serve it on a salad at your restaurant normally? Well, or? we do. Sometimes yeah. we'll serve it with potato and vegetable. I yeah. thought because of the season that we're coming into, yeah. salad light. Yeah. You know, with the salsa. I mean, that's just. So good. Tis, tis the season. Yeah. We're really looking forward to this weekend. We'll have the deck open this weekend. Oh, it's going to be great. Um, upstairs, we have like a light menu, some pizzas. Mm -hmm. We do some burgers up there. And, you know, we're You'll always have the different traffic this weekend. Specials. And for, for your seating, too. I mean, you almost like double in size when you open do the outdoor area. Absolutely. Eating area. Upstairs and beautiful yeah. view in Narragansett Bay. Yeah. The seals are gone. No more seals. No more seals? Oh. No, they the seals. <laughs> they went, the water's getting warmer. They're out of yeah. here. They're yeah. going up north. They went, they went back to Canada. Yeah. So, I mean, this. This is pretty much done now. Okay. So we have that piece mm -hmm. nice and cooked. Mm -hmm. This is a little more rare. Yeah. I mean, this that's just it's how edible though. You can still eat it. Yeah. It's absolutely, you can eat it. Danielle won't. I'm gonna try. Oh, the first edge. Oh, we'll try oh, it with the salsa. Oh there. my gosh! I'm like getting all ahead Don't of myself. Jumping. Sorry, sorry. Of course we get to finish. This it. is like I said. This is the salsa I made this last yeah. night. So when you taste it, you'll see what it tastes like. It, it best sits overnight. You definitely even the next day by tomorrow it'll be even better. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you can see it all blended. Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. It did its thing. Oh, neat look at about it. how pretty Just that is. Dump it right on top. It's like sunshine on a plate. It is very it's colorful, nice. healthy. Mm-hmm. We'll turn it around and make sure you get... All right, I'll try the little, because we don't want to ruin the display here. So well, I made, I made another one. Let me see that. She didn't even get your salsa. A little oh, salsa, oh. too. Mix it in. And you are so right. It doesn't taste like the tuna in a can. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> different, yeah. Did you mm. enjoy it? What's that? Did you enjoy it? I did, and All I'm right. not faking. It was okay. good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I That's did. Well, listen, have a great weekend. He really wants to, he's really making sure. I do. I like it. I, it's, it's, yeah. If you didn't like it, I can understand. Not everybody Kevin, likes Kevin, I would never let you I down like that. I can take objective criticism. No, no, you always do a great job. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you. Thank and you for having me. And don't work too hard. I know it's going to be busy yeah. this weekend. So. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Top Patrick. Top of the Bay this weekend. One of the great places to be on Memorial Day weekend, eating outside machine.